Hello, welcome to Book World with Karen Reborn. In case you're new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always having my back. So today I'm going to analyze a book. There is one day I will write about this place by Binyavanga Wainaina. So sit back, relax as you enjoy the analysis. I am going to base my argument in the identity crisis and the sense of belonging that Binyavanga Wainaina tries to struggle with in this book. From childhood to adulthood, Binyavanga through the, through the entire life struggles with something. Either struggling to belong to a society, struggling to belong to uh, gender, trying to belong to specific uh, group of people and what a view during his lifetime. First of all, the book begins when Binyavanga now introduces us to uh, his family. We meet Shiru, we meet uh, the sister, we meet the brother who are in the book. We meet the cousins, George, we meet together with Carol and all of that. And Binyavanga introduces us to these people because he's trying to bring something to our uh, realization. For instance, talking about the sisters and the brothers, there was there were sibling rivalry between them. They struggled a, lo a lot of time and there's, uh, for example, Binyavanga didn't like to play with the boys and Binyavanga at the same time liked to chill and walk around with the ladies. And on the other hand, you find out that Shiru didn't like to be around Binyavanga. And this is a woman. So Binyavanga is trying to relate with the female, yet the female are not also accepting him to be part of their team. That begins uh, with the identity thing. And Binyavanga even uh, comes to ask about where does he belong, which tribe does he belong to. Because the mother is a, a Ugandan, the father is from Kenya. And so, these are two people who are mixed. Binyavanga is in the middle. Can Binyavanga be Anglo-Kenyan? Can, can Binyavanga be a Ugandan? Can, so, Binyavanga tries to identify with these different people, different groups, at these different levels. And it becomes so hard for Binyavanga because now realizing that uh, he cannot speak these languages, if it is Kimei, if it is these languages with Ki, Ki, Ki. Going to Mombasa, meeting Mustafa, Binyavanga could not speak Kiswahili. That is a language that uh, begins with a Ki. Kirwandan, Binyavanga could not speak Kinyarwandan language. Binyavanga, these key languages, the languages that begin with the Ki, Binyavanga most of the time find it so difficult. And does language make someone belong to a tribe? Does language make someone to belong to a specific group? Kindly, if you think that you belong to that tribe because you can speak that language, then comment down below and let me know what you feel about language. Can language make you belong to a certain place or a certain society? Kindly comment down below and we'll get to discuss this. So, identifying with these languages becomes difficult for Vinyavanga because Vinyavanga could, cannot speak the languages. On the other hand, relating with the female. Shiru doesn't want to relate with Vinyavanga. And from the beginning we get to see Vinyavanga who just want to walk around ladies. If it's playing, playing around ladies. So it becomes so difficult for Vinyavanga during the time that is now growing up. Another thing that I, we can also talk about in the issue of identity, you get to see that even in school, it becomes difficult for Binyavanga together with the sister to get a very good school. Binyavanga together with the, together with the sister, they're taken to a, a secondary school that is in Joro Secondary School. Why? Because this was during the time of Moi. Moi is a Kalenjin. And because President Moi is a Kalenjin, it means that if you're not a Kalenjin, you're not able to get these offers that Kalenjins are getting in this land. So your, your name will definitely make you an outsider. That is what happens to Binyavanga because it is Binyavanga Wainaina. Wainaina is a Kikuyu name. But Wainaina, because he's called that, during the selection of schools, definitely a Kikuyu won't get any school. Again, we get to find a different uh, thing happening. Binyavanga speaks about Moi regime, talking about how Moi could 
come to schools, distribute orbit to children, that in every place that you go, in every classroom, teachers are nyam nyam nyam. Students are nyam And it, the class was full of chewing. What were these people chewing? Moi has now brought a lorry of orbits to school and that was so hilarious in the book. Again, we get to see that in this book, Binyavanga also struggles even to belong uh, to a certain group of people. You see that in school, Binyavanga is taken in a school that belonged to engineers, doctors, and every, every good name that you want to call them. No, but you, you will never find someone talking, well, teachers, no. It always doctors, pilots, those who can do maths well and what have you. So Binyavanga, even though he's a boy, doesn't like mathematics. Binyavanga almost spends every time reading the books, the novels. And most of the time, even during the time that Binyavanga was in South Africa, there's a time an uncle gave Binyavanga some money. But instead of Binyavanga looking for a life, doing something creative, uh, paying for the bills with this money, Binyavanga goes ahead and buys hundreds of books. What was that for? And this is a man who is expected uh, to stand with the mathematics in a in a family to make sure that to make sure that he's really doing well in the mathematics and becoming engineer in future. But Binavanga gives us a different identi identity. Left in a shop to sell, Binavanga instead of selling to customers sits back, reads the novels. Instead of doing homework, Binavanga could. Uh, could run to the toilet, going there, begin reading the books. Instead of doing whatever the assignment Binyavanga was given, he could hide in the toilet and read the novels. So Binyavanga gives us a different identity. And most of the time, he wants to identify with a specific team. During the time that Binyavanga is in this team, choir team, that they sing together, you know Binyavanga, because he was now grown two inch taller, Binyavanga, the voice was now squawky, the voice was now breaking, and Binyavanga could not sing the voices so well, and Binyavanga is thrown out of this team. This is a young boy trying to identify himself, trying to belong to a group, but now what happens next? Binyavanga is thrown out of this team because the voice is now squawky. Again, Binyavanga, when you find that in the middle of the boys, Binyavanga struggles to belong. And most of the time trying to wink, I don't know, I can't even do it. Okay, Binavanga tries to wink because that is, was the way of life. And if you cannot, the way of youth, sorry. And if you cannot wink, that definitely means that maybe you don't belong to that team. And Binavanga tries to wink. What happens? It, it never came to, to, to happen, I'm sorry. So, like, it becomes so hilarious when he tries... He tries it in the mirror, winking, it doesn't come through. And Binavanga asks himself, do I belong really to this team of boys that wink if I can't wink? Again, Binavanga meets this junior called Ray Parker Jr. That is the name. This junior is a South African, uh, black American who came to Africa. And meeting, uh, meeting Binavanga, Binavanga tries to identify with this African because he sees that now mm, I need to be like them. They have very nice hair. I want my hair to be like these people. And so Binavanga tries to make uh, his hair be Ray Miao Miao, Ray Paka. So instead of calling this this man Paka, which is P-A-R-K-E-R, -E he calls him Paka, which means a cat. So he thinks that because this um, this man's hair is a, uh, how do we call the hair? Okay, the, the, how the hair of the white, slippery, eh, I mean slippery, not like African hair, but Binavanga tries to belong to this team and tries uh, to make the hair look like that one. Goes to the bathroom with sugar and soap, trying to make the hair look like the Rei Miao Miao, which didn't happen so this means that binavanga tries to belong to this category of people tries so hard to belong to this group that is why he's trying to identify with them and trying even to do as a child trying to do these things so that he can uh, definitely be same as Parker jr again during the time that uh, uh, identifying with the americans 
again during the time that uh, he puts on the dress that belonged to the mother walks around to the neighborhood and pretends that he's the cousin that has just landed and tried to speak in rang rang language okay this book is so nice when you read it you'll just laugh throw the book so during the time binyavanga tries, says that uh, speaks in rang rang language trying to speak like americans this also means that binyavanga tries to identify with these words by speaking changing the, the how they speak how african really speaks he tries to change it and speak like these americans again we see that binyavanga um, when uh, when also in the midst of these ladies he was so free instead of being free with the boys he was free with the ladies which is so diff different and difficult to understand. So this is a man who is trying to belong. Even uh, plating the hair, Binyavanga could do that. And because of that, uh, it was also some, at some point uh, thought to be a Pokot woman. And then again, a place where Binyavanga tries to identify where the body shaming comes, Binyavanga meets a woman who wants to sell him apples. So that he could eat the apples to reduce in size so it means that talking about these things it means that he tries to belong and even during the time that they were buying for binyavanga uh, he went to buy some clothes and then the seller could tell binyavanga that there's nothing that can fit you here we can we can now we can just sue you a different size that can fit you so it becomes difficult for this man because he can he can't fit in these dresses he can't fit he, he can't fit in the society trying to belong to different groups which doesn't happen because he's not fitting in these people's um, groups or way of life how they these people take life his perspective is different so his behaviors most of the time is like of a woman in this book he tries to be like a woman through the book and you come to ask yourself that isn't this person struggling to belong to a certain group of people in the society so I, when talking about identity from the book Pinyavanga you get to understand uh, identity in different levels because you will get to see he identifies to be with the whites he identifies with the ladies the gender tries to belong to these people from the dressing he could put on dresses, he could put on skirts, instead of putting on, uh, he could plant hair, instead of doing things that the, gen the, fee the, male, the male characters were doing in the society, he could do very different things in this society. So he tries so much to belong to these people, to belong to in this society, to belong to this group that is presented in this book. So, mm, this book by Binyavanga, it's a, a very awesome one. It's so hilarious. When you begin reading it, you can never stop until the end of it. Because you get to understand how people struggle to belong to different communities. They struggle to belong to different societies. They struggle to belong anywhere. that they're. Even in school, people struggle to belong. It's so difficult even uh, taking a child to school. They will always struggle to fit in a certain group. Even if it's a peer group, even if it's, if it's what, and Binyavanga also does the same. And when taking a child to school, most parents believe that I want my child to be this. And because I could not accomplish this in life, my child is going to accomplish it for me. That is why they're taken to this school so that they can do mechanical engineering, electrical, anything to do with engineering, pilot, doctor. Those are, those are the things that our, the, our children are forced to do but we forget that these people also have to identify themselves they have to find themselves so that they can do what what really makes them happy so it's a very nice book you're going to enjoy the reading of this book and i recommend it binyavanga wainaina's book it can be found in the internet um it's awesome that's all i can say thank you so much for watching until the end Kindly, if you're, not, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. And for the returning subscribers, again, I say thank you so much. And I love you. It's because of you that I keep moving. I keep posting. I keep shooting because of you and because of the love that you've shown me. 
and thank you so much and till next time bye